this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your Easy Drummer 3 drums that are in the plugin and actually mix them in your DAW. Easy Drummer 3 doesn't come with plugins that you can actually mix in the instrument and in the plugin itself. That's something reserved for Superior Drummer 3. So maybe you want to route out the individual instruments like kick and snare to separate tracks in your DAW so you can mix them in properly with the rest of your track. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. It's pretty simple. And then some tips when it comes to mixing Easy Drummer or virtual drums in your DAW. I'm going to be using Reaper for this one, but you can use it in any DAW that you have Tune Tracks Easy Drummer 3 installed in. So let's launch into the video. Okay, so here's my project for uh, a song I'm working on. I have actually the drum scratch that I did in Easy Drummer 3 rendered out here. Um, and then I have some MIDI. And then I'm going to add Easy Drummer 3 to the project so I can show you what you need to do so you can actually start mixing it in your DAW. So if I just did a quick playthrough here of the song, just to give you an idea. So that's kind of an idea of the drums. And then I have my MIDI here. Here's the first tip, and this is how it's done in Reaper anyways, is I'm gonna to go to insert new virtual instrument, right here, virtual instrument on a new track. And then I'm gonna scan and search for Easy Drummer 3. Here it is right here, double click on it. And then what it's gonna do is actually add a bunch of stereo tracks in your DAW that you can then route the individual pieces such as kick, snare, toms, overheads, into your actual tracks in your DAW. So you can see here, do you want to add the following tracks for this effect? If not, only the stereo one, two outputs will be audible without further routing. That just means you'll just get one stereo output for Easy Drummer. Yes, I do. And then you'll see here, it'll open up Easy Drummer 3. And then it has a number of tracks here that are all in my drums bus. Just for example, I will move that here. So you can see all the individual tracks for Easy Drummer 3 are now are uh, visible in Reaper. And then we can now appropriately route these out. So here's the plugin. I'm gonna make the MIDI bust to Easy Drummer 3 here so that it'll actually trigger the drum pieces. And let me solo the drums real quick. This is what we have now. So you can see it's playing the kit in Easy Drummer 3. Great, that's off to a good start. But you can see it's only coming out of this one output here, this one, two output. And we wanna be able to mix all the different drum pieces in our DAW. So we have to go to the mixer tab in Easy Drummer 3. You can see here it has the different outputs for each instrument. And this is the stock Easy Drummer 3 main room. You can do this for any preset. For example, if I go to the Made of Metal, each one's gonna be slightly different, but you can still decide how you want to output the entire kit. I'm gonna go back to the Easy Drummer 3. Um, I'm gonna go to the Bright Room kit here. And then I'm gonna begin routing out the different individual pieces. And some of this comes down to uh, personal preference for how you wanna to decide to mix it in your DAW. But typically what I'll do is I might write, route out the individual kick pieces. So output one and two will remain to be the kick in. Kick out, I might route to three, four. The sub to five and six. And those are gonna to correspond to these tracks here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I do wanna mix the individual snare at top and bottom. So I'll do seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, the hat, I'll do 11, 12, so I can maybe pan that. Then for the toms, typically what I'll do is route them all to the same output. So I'll route them all to 13, 14, so I can mix them as a stereo pair. So those are all those there. The ride, I'll probably mix in with the rest of the overheads, which I'll make 15 and 16. And then the overheads of the kits, I'll put that as 17, 18. The mono mic, 1920. The ambience, uh, 21, 22. And same thing with the mono ambience as well. The crunch track, I'll output to 23 and 24. And then the parallel compression to 25 and 26. Depending on which Easy Drummer expansion you're using, the number of output channels you have may be very small. It may be a lot. It just depends. For their kits here, like their bright rooms, their main rooms, they have quite a few outputs here. So when I solo the tracks, now I get just this kick in mic on one, two. And then if I add in three, four, that's gonna be the kick out. And then if I add, if I solo all three of the kick drum tracks, you're just gonna hear the kick drum.
And then if I sol if I unsoloed any of them, you're gonna get the whole kit again, but now output through those different outputs. Now you can see there's a number of outputs not being utilized. I'm gonna go ahead and delete those there so they're not clouding up the rest of my project. So now I have all my outputs for my drums here. So it's like I was in a studio, I was able to mic up each of the individual kit pieces and now get them on separate tracks. Where we can go from here is you can decide to name all the individual kit pieces, kick in, kick out, kick sub, whatever you prefer. So you can begin your mixing process, color code it, whatever you decide is best for you. I'm gonna color code all my drums green so you can see them all right here. Now we can begin mixing the individual kit pieces inside of your DAW or Reaper. A good rule of thumb is to kind of leave the channels in Easy Drummer 3 at a point where they're zeroed out, they're not clipping going into um, your DAW. So I might turn all these just collectively down a little bit just to make sure they're not clipping when they go into my DAW here. You can see they're all far from clipping, so we're at a good spot to begin mixing them. So now, just like in any other mixing situation, we can go in, we can add EQ to our various tracks, compression, whatever you would like to do, just like you had regular kit pieces in your DAW here. So for example, I could go into the kick in mic, and I can make various mixing decisions like I would do to any other track. In Reaper especially, but in other DAWs you can do this, I could decide to bulk render out. So if you go here, if you go to render or freeze tracks, I could actually render out all the individual kit pieces as audio files. So it's like you got pre-recorded drum parts for your song and they're in your DAW and you can mix them from that mindset. So you could get completely get rid of the Easy Drummer 3 plugin if you would like, if you wanna just mix audio files. Sometimes I like to leave the plugin in my session because I might want to make adjustments. For example, I may decide a certain kick drum is not working and may want to swap it out for a different one. Or I may want to mess with these mixing tabs here, like the overhead, the ambience, because I'm getting a bleed problem or I'm getting too much ambience in some of the tracks. Or you may want to switch presets entirely. That's the advantage of using a virtual instrument like Easy Drummer 3. It gives you more manageability as opposed to getting specific WAV files. But you can do it either way. It doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. So that's how you import and then add Easy Drummer 3 tracks in your DAW and begin mixing them. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment down below. If you have any questions about Easy Drummer 3, you can let me know as well. If you're having problems in your home studio or if you need some help with your tracks and getting them up and running, you can go ahead and contact me in the email down below and I'd be happy to help you. Thanks so much for watching. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.